Hey, hello guys, Paul Apollonia here. Hope everybody is doing well today. In this uh, short video, I want to show you what I mean when I part out items to sell on eBay. It's one of my uh, big income streams I get from online sales. I love doing it very quickly. I saw this washer on Craigslist the other day, yesterday in fact. How I work it is I have a uh, email alert set up for Craigslist for any kind of appliances. You can put anything you want you're looking for and a second it's post on Craigslist, it goes right out to my email and usually I'm the first one to grab it. And if it's local, uh, I, I, I go quickly and get it. So I went to get this yesterday, this washer, uh, the, uh, the bearing is broken in it. The guy told me what's wrong with it. And while I was there, he said, hey, you want a dryer too? And I went, sure, because I can use a dryer. Our 33 year old dryer is working, but it needs to be replaced and this one works. So I'm gonna probably keep this for myself. So I parted out this, uh, washer machine here looked up the parts before i went even to get it went to get it and uh, they're doing pretty good so i'm going to show you a few pictures of some of the parts i've taken out of the washer it took me about uh two hours uh maybe um maybe two and a half hours to get all the parts out of it but i should make a couple hundred bucks off of it so first of all the drum you're thinking the drum who the heck's going to buy a drum believe it or not people use these for burn pits burn pits in their uh, backyard instead of buying a fancy one they uh, they use a washer machine drum now i'm gonna if i sell this i'm gonna take the plastic off of it and sell it as a metal drum i don't know if i'm gonna do that or not to be honest with you that seems i have to if it's any more work i don't know if i'm gonna do anything with it but there's a possibility of making some money off of that here is a plethora of some of the parts i pulled out very quickly, the wiring harness took me about 15 minutes to remove. That sells for about $40. These springs are for the, the drum. It keeps his drums balanced because it's a front-mounted unit, about $19. Uh, that's a piece. I don't even know what it is, but that should bring it about 20 bucks. The motor brings it about $40. This piece, I don't know what it is. I'll just assume it's another $20. Most of these parts go for about $20, these, these parts here. Uh, another fifteen twenty dollars. Say that's ten dollars. These switches go for ten dollars a piece. These legs, these balancing legs for the bottom, go for about twenty dollars. Another ten fifteen dollars. These hose valves with hoses go for about twenty dollars a piece. And I'm even going to try and sell the nuts and bolts and hardware that I pulled off of it for um, maybe ten dollars or so. So right there, there's a good bit of money, and that's not even we're not even done parting this thing out yet. Here are the balancers for the uh, drum. It's a front load uh, washer, so it needs balancers. These are very, very heavy. They're about 20 pounds a piece, maybe 15 pounds a piece. And believe it or not, they go for about $39 a piece. Uh, eBay, you know, minus fees. So that's still pretty good money that I can make off of these three. That's 30, 35, $39 a piece for each of these. So I was excited to see that. Uh, this door brings in decent money, $49.99. I've got it listed for already. Has a little bit of a damage here and there, but I've listed that um, so the buyer knows what's going on, but it fully functions. Control panel goes for about $20. I tested all the buttons, everything works. That's the switch for the door. That's another $15. Uh, the detergent uh, dispenser uh, goes for about $15, $20, and I'll even sell the manual. Manuals are slow tail sales, which means they're slow sales. I could have that thing on eBay for six, seven months, but that's okay. I'll just leave it out there. It's an easy ship, throw it in an envelope and it's gone. Uh, that should go for about $10, $15. So that is about it for, um, for the parts that I, I am going to sell off of this. I, I'm going to also list the power cord, which I did not show you. That goes for about $20. And I've got this listed right now for $19, this bottom piece. So there's a lot of money in parts. And I want to make that clear that there's a lot, a lot of money in parts. It's very easy to get the parts. Even if you have things around your house, you're going to replace a blender. Look those parts up on eBay. Look that blender up on eBay and see what the parts go for. You'd be surprised. I sold an old blender, just parting it out. We replaced with a new one. And I made double than what we paid for the old blender. So there is money in parts. <clears throat> Don't just throw things away. There's tons and tons and tons of money in parts. Easy to do if you're mechanically inclined. You're just loosening things. <laughs> you're not even worried about putting it back together again. Look up the item. 
If it's selling, list it. If it's not, don't list it. Well, it all depends. If it's something in, 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 in if it's something you know that may sell, if you know your parts, then list it. But a lot of times, if it's not listed, it's probably a dead part, and you're going to make more money off of the other parts anyway. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helps you out in parting out items on eBay and a little bit of what I do on eBay. I also do consignment. I love consignment. I help a lot of baby boomers downsize from their houses into apartments. I help them clear out storage units, getting rid of stuff that the family doesn't want anymore. Um, it's sort of sad because a lot of times people don't create memories with items and they don't use them and the kids don't want them because there's no memories attached. So if you have any old antique items that your parents had, create some memories with those so your kids will want them after you pass on or you downsize. Nothing hurts me more than seeing kids not wanting things that are real special to the parents and they don't know what to do with them. And sometimes they're worth money and sometimes they're not. So just create those memories with those items that you have already. Really, really important. Your kids will want them, will cherish them a little bit more. They'll remember your grandparents, you and everybody else. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Smash that little like button if it helped you out. And I, I also do uh, eBay training. I also run an eBay meetup group, Raleigh eBay meetup group. Training is one-on-one, -on -one, small group, large group, classroom. I do community colleges, adult education centers. I also do one-on-one -on -one trainings. And I also have an online eBay uh, beginners course if you're interested in that. All that information is will be down below. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. And I hope this video helped you guys out in your parting out of items.